The mole fraction of potassium nitrate in an aqueous solution is 0 0.019 solutions. Density is 1.0627 grams per milliliter. We want to calculate the molarity of that solution. All right, we're going to start by turning this into two values for us. So the 0.194 moles of KNO3 in this case must be over one mole of everything. All right. Um, the everything is interesting because we know that that's just water and KNO3 right now. So if the uh, KNO3 is 0 0.0194, therefore there must be one minus 0 0.0194 moles, and I'll do it like this, of H2O. All right, we want to calculate the molarity of the solution. We know our two components. We have that much KNO4, the KNO3. We have this much water, and we want to get the molarity. Molarity is moles over liters. More specifically, it's moles of KNO3 over liters of solution. All right, so we're going to build with these two to get this, this whole thing. Now, the top's easy. 0 0.0194 moles of KNO3. We're just going to leave it like that because that's what we decided what it is. The liters of solution is going to be a little bit more of a challenge because we know how many moles of both species are in there and we know this density, um, we're going to actually use the density, get the volume, but we need to convert our moles of these two into grams first. All right, so that's what we're going to do. 0 0.0194 moles of KNO3. And we're going to convert that to moles, or to we're going to convert those moles into grams. How do I do this right? Okay, so one mole of KNO3, and we need to get the molecular weight of KNO3. So, a potassium has a mass of 39.1, and a nitrogen is 14.01, and then um, three oxygens. I get 101.11. All right, that'll be the mass of just the KNO3. I also need the mass of water. I'm just going to write this as one point or one minus the point zero one nine four. And then one mole of water is 18.016 grams. All right, these two together will be our mass of that solution. We're going to convert that into a volume by saying 1.0, 1.0627 grams per milliliter for the density and then a thousand milliliters is one liter. All right, I'm going to break this down in the calculator so we can follow along with what I'm doing here. So I'm going to start by getting the mass of the uh, potassium nitrate. So I just did the 0 0.0194 times 101.11. I'm going to add to that the mass of the water. I'm going to do two sets of parentheses here because I'm going to start with the 1 minus the 0 0.0194 because that will give me the, ma the moles of water. And then I'm going to multiply that by 18.016 and this will give me the mass of the entire solution. I'm going to take the mass of the entire solution and divide it by the density. That's the milliliters of the entire solution. And then I'll convert that to liters. All right, so this is the volume of the entire solution in liters. I need it under that 0 0.0194, so I'm just going to do 0 0.0194 divided by 
that value right there, and I get an answer of 1.05 molar.